Hey guys, John here, aka Bruce Lee. Uh, I'm a kickboxing teacher from Canada, and today we're talking about Jake Paul versus Ben Askren, which got announced uh, earlier this morning, which is uh, actually kind of crazy. Like, I, at the time that I filmed this video, I think it's only been announced for like an hour, maybe a little bit more, but I, I almost thought it was a prank. I was like looking around, I was like, is this real? Uh, but according to other, some other reporting sites, and Jake Paul's just his Instagram, I don't follow him on Instagram, but you know, <laughs> I, I, I saw the post. Uh, it seems to be happening April 17th, which is super crazy. Uh, we're gonna give it a breakdown today, guys. I'm gonna give a, you know, an honest prediction. Like, oh, uh, well, like, I do think it's kind of ridiculous, which I'll chat about briefly, but I'm gonna give them, you know, the fact that they're willing to step into the ring, I wanna give them, uh, uh, you know, from mono, mono a mono, martial artist to martial artist, I'm gonna give them the respect of taking them seriously. Uh, so we'll do a breakdown, but first of all, how did we get here? I actually thought after Connor lost, like maybe he'd consider fighting an exhibition match with Jake Paul. So Ben Askren seems kinda out of nowhere. Now, Ben Askren, like myself, has actually said uh, like that he'd be happy to fight Joe Logan or Jake Paul. I think in November of 2020 or so something like something to that effect. Um, basically, just being like, well, I would do it for the money. Like I used to fight people for free, just like you know, like like you know, we'd go to people's houses, put on some gloves, and just like play fight or like fight for real or just spar just for the sake of it. And then he gets paid to beat up you know Jake Paul. Um, so from like uh, a monetary perspective, I, I I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so guys, guys. If anyone knows Jake Paul or Logan Paul or you know the Paul brothers, if you happen to be watching this, I'll fight you anytime for the clout, for the cheese. I'll do it for the pay per view. If it's not pay per view, I'll do it on the YouTube. I'll do it in the ring. I'll do it in your backyard. I'll do it in the alley. I don't care as long as we film it. Um, cause I do think uh, Jake Paul. I think I could beat in a boxing match. Logan Paul. I could beat for sure if I could use my kicks and knees. I in a boxing match, his size has me worried. I think I could still beat him, but that would heart be harder. But I, you know, I'm digressing here, guys. Let me fight the Paul brothers myself. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. So Ben Askren and Jake Paul. Um, Jake Paul, as you know, the people he's fought like, like Deji and like Nate Robinson, like those, those guys aren't like. I hesitate not to call them like fighters because I don't want to be mean like you know like Deji and uh, Nate Robinson like they put in the time at the gym and they put themselves out there on the big stage right they got you know they lost in front of millions of people and the bravery of just stepping in that ring I think makes them a fighter I think that makes them a fighter but at the same time it's different fighting you know Ben Askren who's been fighting his whole life on a high professional world stage Versus, you know, Nate Robinson's first fight after boxing for like two months. <laughs> so, um, I think it's a, I think, lo, I think Jake Paul has everything to gain here. But at the same time, he hasn't really picked, uh, strategically, he's picking the point that I think he's going to beat. But I don't know if it's going to add a whole lot to his, re I mean, I don't know. I like, for me, if he beat, like, Conor McGregor, that'd be insane. Like, it'd be hard to argue against him. But beating at Ben Askren, like, Ben Askren striking you guys is not very high level, despite the fact that he's been in MMA at a high level. You know, like, when he fought in, like, Bellator and UFC, he barely threw punches. If he fought, just fight against, like, Damian Maya, the only reason he landed punches at all was because Damian's also a bit of a slower striker. Uh, when you see uh, Ben Askren against, like, kind of, like, more, like, striking heavy uh fighters they were like they were dancing around them <laughs> you know what i mean like ben askren's jab is just pawing it out trying like what ben askren normally does is try to like get his hands out to like grab your forearm or your wrist and try to lead into a takedown he can land a cross here and there but at the end of the day his cross is super telegraphed super slow and he kind of throws it leaning forward like I won't break it down too much because I don't have it. I'm not, I'm not using footage for today's video because then this video just get blocked. <laughs> but like, uh, if I could really break down Ben Askren striking, and there's so many like fundamental flaws in it that make up barely more than like, you know, like you know, like those hockey fights where they just grab each other and just like wailing like this. It's barely more than that. That's Ben Askren's level of striking. What does he have though? He's got a lot of toughness. Like I've seen so many times that I thought Ben Askren was like I was just about to lose, and he comes back, and you know he he comes back. So even his first few fights in the UFC, like I didn't think he's gonna make it, and um, he lasted. And I think it's I'm not I don't don't quote me on this, you guys, but I think it's like an eight round fight, which is insanely long. Like uh, even for me, like I've done like 
like two minute rounds times like like four to six rounds and even that is like tiring when you're trying to like you when you're trying to like get a high pace fight going so eight rounds is a lot i think jake paul could get tired even if he's like hitting he was beating pan Askren up i don't know how jake paul's conditioning is like i haven't really seen him fight you know for example an eight round 10 round 12 round fight with a high volume against a high pressure opponent Right, like Ben Askren, because he's tough, like he'll walk into you all the time uh, and pressure you. Even if you're beating him up, he'll walk you down. But anyways, so Ben Askren's got a toughness. He's got that experience. Maybe not so much striking experience, but just being on the big stage. Like, again, like, yes, Jake Paul has fought in front of millions of people. Crazy enough. But, you know, fighting as someone that he knows is also, like, fairly new in the game versus Ben Askren, who's fought... You know, dozens of time on uh, times on like a world class level. Like Bellator is, you know, that's a worldwide company. UFC is a worldwide company. Uh, I think there's gonna be a little bit of nervousness or like pressure on uh, Jake Paul's side. That's different. Like for Ben Askren, the pressure is gonna be like, hey, don't don't make this guy look like, don't be don't be the fool. <laughs> that's the pressure on Ben Askren. The pressure on Jake Paul is like, you know, can I handle this? Which is a whole nother thing. Um, on that, so another thing before I move on to, to Jake Paul is that Ben Askren, like one of the things he does a lot is like a spinning back fist. So he'll like lead you in with like pong out and then uh, as you move out uh, away from his power hand, he'll like spin you uh, into a spinning back fist, which is not even legal in boxing. So I have to say that's one of his better, I have to say that's like his signature move or like his good move. Like his spinning back fist, honestly, is not very good. <laughs> like, the, like the way I teach and do spinning back fist, I don't think his does a whole lot. Uh, but it's one of the things he likes to throw. And he throws an like overhand, uh, right hand, right? Kind of like a cross, kind of like a hook. And he does the overhand. Classic wrestler thing. And those are two best moves. I don't know they're going to be that effective. So I don't know what else he has. Like, Ben Askren's uppercuts are super slow. And they're just kind of like their arm pumps like this. They're not really, like, for me, again, like, fundamentally speaking, there's a lot lacking in his striking. Like, you know, let's move on to Jake Paul here. I think Jake Paul might be might be the better striker you guys like I, i'm not saying he's good but i'm saying that he's focused more on boxing he has a bit better lateral movement he's younger and faster um his cross has decent power his right hand's got decent power and that's what he knocked out nate robinson with but what i also noticed is that he's not a very refined striker what i mean by J uh, jake paul being a refined striker is that i think he only know he, like he, he, it's like it's like one of those beginner things where you, you're just throwing like one move Right, he throws like a jab, jab, cross, or he throws like hook, pause, uppercut, pause, hook, or like you know what I mean. Like what I'm trying to say is he kind of throws in singles. He doesn't throw like proper high level combinations. He's not really doing big setups, right? And if you watch like one of my really favorite YouTubers to watch right now, shout out Tony Jeffries. He talks about like the best combos to use in like a real fight, and he goes like jab, cross, slip, cross. You know, even like something like that, setting up that la that last cross with a slip. Like I don't really. I don't really think Jake Paul does that. I think he kind of thinks of it like linearly of like, hey, I'm gonna like paw, move, move. If I see a cross, hit the cross. Uh, I'm gonna try a hook because it, it feels good. And that's it. He throws one at a time, one at a time. He doesn't really set up like a well thought out or strategic combo. The other thing that is gonna be a big difference here is that we don't know that Jake Paul uses game plans. Which, I guess a tough guy that might take it in the late rounds like Ben Askren, you need a game plan. Ben Askren, even if his striking is not amazing, he can win with a good game plan. And he's used to having a good game plan. Will he take Jake Paul seriously enough to use his camp, to use his trainers, and to set up a game plan? We don't know. But Ben Askren has a game plan, and Jake Paul does not have a game plan. I think it's going to be falling into Ben Askren's uh, favor here. So there's a lot to be said, or rather not to be said, about Jake Paul's strategy and uh, conditioning here. Because we, I don't like, I haven't seen for him, for example, fight you know, 10 three-minute rounds. <laughs> um, so, anyways, before I ramble on too much, you guys, I really, really, really want to hear from you. So comment below who you think you're gonna win, who's gonna win, uh, why you think that, uh, and obviously I might do another one of these videos because this just got announced, right? Even if Ben Askren striking isn't amazing or like, you know, he's more of a wrestler He's still got three months to prepare or, or refine his striking game and same with Jake Paul He has time and he's gonna release training videos because he's a youtuber We're gonna see how his prep is for this fight So I might do another review of this closer to the fight But I just couldn't wait to upload and hang out and chat with y'all um, So let me know what you think and I'm gonna sit on it. I'm gonna think on it and let's see what happens I do think like percentage-wise. I feel like 
Ben Askren has got like a 60% chance of winning this fight, which if you think about it, is very generous to Jake Paul, considering Ben Askren's like, you know, experience or what have you, like a 40% chance of beating him, like nearly half is pretty generous. Like I do have, I do, like I'm, I'm trying to take him seriously. Like, I do think Jake Paul might have a bit better striking here. It's a matter of like, can he execute the game plan? Can he execute the training? Um, and can he not fret, not make a mistake in front of an experienced guy like Ben Askren? Even if Ben Askren's uh, striking is at best a sloppy, you know, like even I, even I think I could beat him um, in, in a boxing match. <clears throat> in an MMA, for sure, no, but in a boxing or like a kickboxing, like for sure, yes. And that, that's how, that's how much Askren's had such like a rudimentary or like so many bad habits in the striking. So, I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is that I'll be tuning in. And you know what? I'll probably Jake. I'll probably bet on Jake just because, like, if he's the underdog, uh, I just want to make money. <laughs> so I, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's leave it there for now. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, especially if you want to see like how the part two of this video uh, and some of my other stuff. It, it, it'd be sweet for you guys to check it out. So uh, let's sign off there. Bruce Lee is out.